A little taste of Broadway is coming to our area as the Opera House players stage a shadowed production of the Tony Award winning hit Next to Normal. What is a shadowed production, you ask? Well, here to tell us all about it are Sharon Fitzhenry, Nikki Malik, and Jeremy Michaud. Did I get that right this time? Excellent. <laughs> Good morning to each of you. Good Sharon, morning. let me ask you, tell me, or, tell me a little bit about the Opera House players. The Opera House Players has been in existence for many years. Uh, they do only musicals. It is a local community theater, but we pride ourselves in bringing the very best talent that we possibly can to create um, Broadway-style musicals. And we are right now at the Enfield Annex, but they have just bought a building in Enfield with the idea that they're going to do a renovation and have a brand new facility. So it's an exciting time for our group. Fantastic. Nikki, let me ask you, what is a shadowed production and how does it, how much work does it take to put together? <laughs> yeah, it's really, it is a lot of work. So you have a hearing cast and a deaf slash signing cast and everyone has to come together. Both, everyone has their own chance to shine interchangeably with each other and it's really just an amazing experience. There's a lot of work, but this show, I think, is going to have so much success. So, okay, so Jeremy, Jeremy, let me ask you, you're doing the interpretation now. How hard is it to interpret a Broadway musical? <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> but, you know, with a lot of work and practice, everything will come together because you have to study your lines and the music and then translate it into another language, memorize that, but at the same time, for me as a hearing cast, who signs, I have to match it auditorily. So it's, it's a bit of a challenge and a bunch of ins and outs that need to be put together, but it's coming along and I agree with Nikki, I think it will be so successful. Oh, I agree with you, but how long have you had to, have you had to rehearse this? Well, Nikki and I met back before Christmas when she got the script and started the process of glossing, which is translating the English script into American Sign Language. Okay. Because the, the language is a very visual and, and has different um, syntax. So they have worked very hard to create signs that work emotionally as well as um, just getting the information across that matches. So we have been in rehearsal since February and it's, it's really, it's a duality of character because we have a full speaking cast on stage, we have a full signing cast on stage. So usually when you think about an interpreted production, the interpreter is off to the side and right. not engaged. These actors are completely involved with each other. Sometimes they share signs. They might, one actor might put a hand out and the other, you know, so that we share signs, we work together. We might reflex, uh, we might um, complement each other to create a more nuanced version of the sign. It's very, very integrated, and we've worked very hard to create this visual performance that takes two languages uh, together in a way that's uh, kind of exciting and hopefully um, works well for both audiences. Now, why the show Next to Normal? Why was this show picked to be on the stage? For one, it's an amazing show. It's just beautiful score, beautiful story, really, really powerful. But there are all kinds of implications in the script that talk about uh, the family does not hear each other. The family does not communicate well. And so we thought that there was this opportunity to not only access some amazing deaf performers and give a show to a deaf audience that isn't always included, but to actually use the script itself to help tell that story. So Nikki, let me ask you, have you done a musical performance like this before? <laughs> well, as an actor, yes. As like co-director, never in my life. It's my <laughs> first time, but it's been so amazing. It's so exciting and really just top-notch experience. And I'm so excited to be working with Sharon. So what have you learned as a co-director? <laughs> <laughs> quite a lot, quite a lot. We work together for all the crucial things because everything needs to come together in the end. If we didn't work together, then there'd be the mismatch in the cast, because I primarily work with the signing and Sharon works with the singing cast. 
and we need everything to come together and we're figuring out gestures to make everything flow and artistically look appropriate and same time be able to cue everyone so it all comes together into one great picture. And then there's of course the translation and the interpretation and then our own visions and just putting everything together into one great picture. Wow, okay Jeremy, let me ask you, is this your first performance in this manner? It's not my first, my first shadowed production was about seven years ago at my college, the University of Southern Maine. We did a, a Shakespeare play. Oh, I can't even imagine which is worse, <laughs> a musical or a Shakespeare? <laughs> Shakespeare is worse. <laughs> <laughs> so now let me ask, who are, are the lead actors, are, they, are the lead actors both the deaf actors and the uh, vocal actors? Or who are the leads? Or are they mixed? It's, it's definitely mixed. A, we, a lot of times you will see productions where it's a one for one. You might take um, a roll out and make it uh, hearing. You might take a roll out and make it deaf and then the signing actor is off to the side. We made a conscious choice to make this a dual cast. And so sometimes one is dominant, sometimes the other is dominant. Both characters work together to create the whole picture of, of what this person is feeling and it really makes them more interesting and rich. You know we were talking about how to make it all flow when you think about music you might have a line that has four beats right. and the sign might only take two beats or the <laughs> sign might take six beats wow. so we have worked very hard to create moments where the exact sign, and there I've learned that there are multiple ways to say certain things, and that's why Nikki's artistic influence has been so important, but to make it not only match the, the beats of the music, but the emotion that's happening at the time, the drive of the character, wow. there are so many things to consider as you're making these decisions. That is amazing. Okay, now the nuts and bolts of it. Give me the dates, sure. times, locations. Where can <laughs> we find it? All right, so Next to Normal is performing at the Enfield Annex, uh, 124 North Maple Street, beginning next Friday, May 6th, and it runs Friday, Saturday at 8, and Sundays at two for three consecutive weekends. And then on the second Sunday, we're having a special um, talk back, as it were, with some local members of Connecticut Deaf Theater, Connecticut uh, Yukon Deaf Ed Program, and our cast just talking about the inclusion of uh, deaf performance. Fantastic, and I believe the website is operahouseplayers.org for that's, tickets and information? That's it, yes. Fantastic, Sharon, Nikki, uh, Jeremy, I wanna thank you all very, very much for being here. Best of luck, this sounds fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. I hope everybody can come see it. Good seeing you all. Thank you. Thank you.